Tonight on Nova, they get washed, tossed, chewed, and now copied. What was once the domain of master craftsmen has become a playground for lawbreakers. There we go. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's astounding. <laughs> but the feds are fighting back. Can they design a bill that will take the abuse and stop the counterfeiters? Secrets of making money. But not everyone is so satisfied with the aesthetics of U.S. currency. Long before Treasury unveiled its new $100 note, J.S.G. Boggs was offering his own variations. Because America's premier money artist not only makes his own cash, he also spends it. I made these uh, bills. Oh, they're really great. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so, because I'd like to pay for the CDs. Okay. With, uh, one of these bills. Um, but that's not going to work. Why not? Because <laughs> this isn't legal tender. Uh, it's not real money. Well, actually, you're right. It's not real money. What it is is it's art that depicts money. <laughs> People often make this mistake. They say, what differentiates money from art? Well, money is art. I mean, there are other kinds of art, but money is art. It's pictures and pigment on paper. It's portraiture. It's landscape. It's abstract geometric. And it is the ultimate abstract art. It's a symbol for something else. From seashells to tea leaves, explore the changing face of currency through the ages. Tap into Nova Online at pbs.org. To order this show for 1995 plus shipping and handling, call 1-800-255-9424. And to learn more about how science can reveal the truth and solve the mysteries of our world, ask about our many other Nova videos. Who's this? Irene Hildebrand. Who, who would you like to have on your money? <laughs> my family, I don't know, my daughter. You ask, if who, I have, if you're making you ask who Irene Hildebrand is? Yeah, I'm just kidding. She was my grandmother. Your grandmother built here. That's, that's nice. nice. So, I was it nice enough to buy some bags? Sure, I guess. You get this. 